Before starting, I just want to say that this video is strictly not for people who've been asking me, you got only 728 marks, how did you still make it to Miranda house? Shut up. 728 is not bad. Maybe it is, but at least be humble about it, especially when you're asking for help. And in my defense, I'm coming from an ICSE background and I had to study those NCRT books in three days and I still scored good enough to make it to my dream college, so you have no right to make me feel bad about it. Ekta, I was nice enough to reveal my CUET scores for the entire internet to see. You know, the only other people who have done this are people who have scored 800 on 800. I mean, CBSE folks, I'm serious. Click off this video right now. I'm gatekeeping my experience from you. Hello and welcome to the most important video that you'll watch before getting into college. Yes, this video is about the Delhi University preference list and no, I'm not trying to monetize off of your college anxiety. I literally have two internals and three assignments spending this week. But at this point, I've gotten way too many comments and DMs and emails. So here we go. I'm going to keep it quick. I'll just tell you about three steps that I followed to prepare my preference list. And maybe it will work for you. Maybe it will not. You have to give it a try anyway. So watch this video, I guess. So firstly, I'll just show you exactly what my preference list was and all the brain cells that I lost in those two weeks in the process of researching about every college and course that BU has to offer. And then I'll impart to you all the residual wisdom that I've left in my brain about how I made that list in three steps so that you can construct your own preference list in the most personalized and the most close to perfect way possible. So I had filled about 150 preferences in my list, but obviously I cannot show you all of those because I don't have all of those. It was just on the portal. But I actually wrote down the first 20 or 30 of my preferences in my notebook. And lucky enough for you, I have brought that notebook with me. So I can show it to you right now. So without any context, if you know what course or college I got, just forget about it for a second. I'm pretty sure it's written in the title of this video, but unsee it for a while. And without any context, just notice this preference list. Look at it. Read it through, pause this video if you want to. So as you may or may not know, I got philosophy honors at Miranda House College, which was my one of my top 20 preferences. As you probably can see, my preference list was very, very personalized. It was not like one course, all the colleges and the next course, all the colleges, or like one college, all the courses and the next college, all the courses, nothing like that. It was just a mix of all these different course college combinations. And I was actually very, very proud of it. I was very satisfied with my preference list before the second phase of the admissions opened up. So I think now let's just delve into the process of how I got to make this preference list that was so particular to what I wanted to study and where. So the first thing that I did and the first step that I would suggest in this process is to make a preference list of only colleges, not any course, just the colleges. So for me, it was obviously Miranda House as the first preference. Then there was LSR, then there was Stephens, and then there was Hindu. After that, Hansraj and a few other North Campus colleges, I guess. Uh, there was Gargi and then DRC, IPCW. There was Jesus and Mary, Khalsa College, also, I guess, Ramjas and Kidorimal. All of these colleges that I researched a lot about, I made a preference list of them. And I spent a lot of my time and energy doing this. I watched every YouTube video out there that was about these colleges. I read articles about them. I browsed their websites for hours on end. And I even freaking read the history of these colleges. Basically, I researched a lot and I did not follow the NIRF rankings or anything. So if you're going to do this, you too will have to research a lot and you have to be very particular about what college fits perfectly for you. It's not just the college picking you, it's also you picking the college, I always say this. So you have to be very particular about what college you want to go to and what college you want to prefer. Like for me, I wanted to go to a girls college because I've been in a co-ed educational space for my whole life, for almost 14 years. So my first two preferences were obviously Miranda House and LSR, but this might not be the case for you. So you have to decide what suits best for you on that. You have to do all your research and just decide where you see yourself belonging to. And according to that, according to your own instincts, just make a preference list of your colleges. That would be the first step of this process. So this might be very obvious, but the second step to this process is to make a preference list of your courses. So make a list of all the courses that you're open to or you're willing to study and this can be only one course or it can be 10 courses, it can be any number of courses, but make a list and then rank that list, rank those courses as per your preference. I hope I'm making sense. So for me, the first course preference was political science. 
and then it was sociology and then it was history and english and then philosophy i had a variety of courses that i was open to studying but this number might vary from person to person for some people this list can be limited for others on the other hand it could be more vast than mine and if you want to know how i came up with this list or how i decided what courses i was open to studying or if you're confused about what course you want to study then again you'll have to do a lot of research you need to read up about the syllabus and scope about the course and the skills that you will acquire after having studied it it's also important that you don't discard any course just because you don't know about it or because you've never studied it before i had never studied philosophy before coming to college except for that one time when i read nausea by sartre and it ruined my life completely but i had never studied it like a discipline before and still i read up about it i saw the syllabus and the scope and it interested me quite a lot so i added it to my list and right now i'm doing my honors in philosophy and i'm actually kind of loving it so that was the second step just make a preference list of the courses that you want to study it can be any number of courses but you should know about it you should be informed you should know what is taught in it so that you don't regret it if you get it you know if you're offered a seat in that course you should be happy about it so for the third and the final step you need to do a lot of self questioning and contemplation and introspection and make the choice of deciding between college and course i'm sure you've heard this everywhere but what you might have heard is making an overall decision and preferring college over course or course over college but what i'm telling you to do is make a very conscious particular decision at every step of choosing college over course i'm going to elaborate on this in a while please do not click off this video if i've confused the hell out of you but yeah you have your preferred colleges list with you you have your preferred courses list with you and now you just need to mix them together bring them together and you have your finalized preference list and for those of you rare breeds of decisive people who are like already 100% sure of exactly what course you want to study it's easy you just put that one course in all your preferred colleges and you're good to go that's your list and i honestly admire your confidence a lot if you're going to do this but for those of you who have backup courses or like a variety of courses to choose from it can get a little bit tricky but hang on i'm going to try my best to explain it in the best possible way i like to say that i have always preferred college over course because i firmly believe that no matter what the subject is if you have nice professors or a nice teacher to teach you then you are going to enjoy the subject I really think that if I had better science teachers in school I'd be doing my engineering right now which would probably have resulted in a more stable career But anyway I believe that I could get a good faculty only in a good college so I preferred college over course but I did not completely neglect the courses okay I had my course choices narrowed down to 5 only and I would not just do any course in a good college like certainly not geography even if it was in Miranda I do not like geography for some reason or maybe it was a teacher But anyway what I'm trying to say is even though I preferred college over course I did not have my preference list like all the courses in Miranda House and then all the courses in LSR and all the courses in Stevens and all the courses in Do it wasn't that because again it's not a question of whether you prefer college over course or course over college overall but at every step of making your preference list you have to make a conscious choice between the two to give you an example my first college preference was Miranda House my second college preference was LSR My first course preference was political science my second course preference course preference my second course preference was sociology and my first combination was political science at Miranda House that's pretty clear okay but my second preference was political science at LSR so although i prefer Miranda House over LSR no offense to Elsas i love that you call that by the way it's so cute although i prefer Miranda House over LSR i would have rather studied political science at LSR then sociology at Miranda House so here i made the choice of course over college i really hope i'm being clear now and trying my best honestly similarly although my first course preference was political science and my second course preference was sociology but i would have rather studied sociology at LSR than political science at Hindu now here i made the conscious choice of picking college over course i know that it was over ambitious of me to do that because political science and hindu is like impossible to get into i mean it's one of the toughest college course combinations to get into but i couldn't compromise with my preference list and neither should you you never know what could happen and this is how i filled the rest of the 150 combinations in the list i know it sounds a little bit complicated but i promise once you sit with your thoughts and you you know think a lot about every combination it's not that hard it just requires a lot of your time i really hope that you could get at least something out of this video i'm pretty sure it did not help any bcom honor students or srcc aspirants 
But for people who are going for liberal arts subjects, I think this is a pretty reasonable way to fill your preferences. Obviously, if you have any other questions about this, please feel free to ask them. I will reply to them when I'm lying on the bed with my thoughts at night and I cannot sleep. I hope you make it to whatever college you want to and I will get back to my assignments now. Until next time, bye.